What is going on guys, it's Dakota from D. Caldwell Photography and in this video we are going to be doing a photo shoot using roller skates while shooting on the Fujifilm X-T4 with the 56mm f1.2. This is an amazing lens and camera combo and I can't wait to show you guys why. Let's roll the intro. you all enjoyed the b-roll of our lovely model Deja. The Fuji X-T4 is probably my favorite camera that I've shot on this year. Between the color scheme straight out of camera, the camera aesthetics, and the usability in general, this APS-C camera is a beast. Once you pair it with a lens like Fuji's native 56mm f1.2, then the magic really starts. And no, I'm not obsessed with shooting wide apertures. Maybe. <laughs> Let's check out some of the photos I captured from this shoot. I almost always shoot portraits at 85mm and above on my Sony system, but I could not pass up the opportunity to use an f1.2 lens, especially one with so many great reviews online. Fuji's 56mm is really fast at focusing on its subject and at f1.2 you can really see that amazing bokeh and background blur. These colors like right out of the camera. I don't know, this X-T4, it is an amazing camera. Like the colors, it's completely different than how my Sony camera works. I, I really like how they just pop immediately. Um, it means less work in post. I love working in post, but it also means less work in post, so. Did he just say less work in post? What type of madman doesn't use post to edit their photos after a shoot? Do you even retouch, bruh? Calm down, guys. Like I alluded to earlier in the video, the Fujifilm colors are simply untouchable in the camera market. The X-T4 can literally be crowned the king of JPEGs because the average photographer who doesn't do any work in post can load these onto their computer, choose the best one, and send them over to the client without any extra hassle. Also, with the film simulation ability on the X-T4, you can pick different sims that each present unique color schemes to a photo. Examples like Classic Chrome, Velvia, Eterna, Monochrome, and so many more simulations in camera give you the ability to create the exact color and vibrant look on scene to reduce less work later on after a shoot. Speaking of Monochrome, let's check out some of the post-edited black and white images from this shoot. Overall, as a regular Sony user, I would buy this camera and lens combo in a heartbeat. I am honestly considering this as my main video camera instead of the a7 III. The only thing that stands out to me is that the eye autofocus is not as good as Sony's. I've noticed when shooting portraits with this camera, the IAF would constantly switch to face detection, even when the subject eye was clear and no hair was covering it. But this is no major detraction to prevent me from purchasing the camera or the lens. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the Fujifilm content and subscribe to the channel for weekly photography content. Also, make sure to go and check out our awesome model Deja on Instagram at Dej.Amani. All of our information will be linked in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.